Physiology at the Medical University of South Carolina. We're talking about urodynamics. What is the purpose of urodynamics testing? Urodynamics testing, uh, on, on the broadest, uh, from the broadest perspective, is a, is a test that is selectively utilized uh, uh, by specialists uh, to either diagnose a particular urinary tract problem uh, that is related to urination. Um, another uh, reason to do urodynamics would be to prognosticate, that is to assess the lower urinary tract and the potential for uh, uh, dangerous outcomes in the future, uh, that is to say uh, assess the ability of the bladder to store urine at safe pressures. Uh, and the, uh, the third reason uh, to, to do a urodynamics, again, the first would be to diagnose a particular lower urinary tract problem. Uh, the second, to uh, assess a, a prognosis. Uh, and the third reason uh, is really to direct treatment. When we do urodynamics, uh, it generally directs us, based on certain findings during urodynamics, towards one treatment or another treatment. What should a patient expect? Is it painful? For some individuals, urodynamics is indeed quite uncomfortable. It does involve placing a tube or a small catheter uh, into the urethra, the tube that we urinate through. And sometimes uh, we have to place a tube or a catheter into the rectum as well. Um, and then the, the, uh, the bladder is filled, and then the patient is asked to urinate. Uh, and uh, by doing uh, that particular urodynamics test, called a pressure flow urodynamics test, we can really assess uh, the uh, lower urinary tract and direct uh, treatment. Are there certain things a patient should do in preparation? Generally, there's no preparation required uh, for urodynamics. There's no uh, 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 fluid restrictions or dietary modifications that are required. Uh, following the study, some people might experience some burning with urination, which generally lasts uh, for one or two urinations and then goes away on its own. Should a patient expect bleeding after urodynamics testing? On occasion. Um, simply from placing the catheter uh, into the urethra, uh, we can get an occasional uh, individual who has uh, blood in the urine, and sometimes even a blood clot will pass. But generally, it's quite transient, uh, meaning it'll last a, uh, just a brief period of time and generally resolve on its own. If the bleeding doesn't resolve on its own, meaning it continues for uh, that day and the next day, uh, probably uh, the individual should call uh, their doctor for further instructions.